thousands of years since he lived here on this earth, and it's been thousands of years since he went to hell, he's still there in torment to this day. And all of the Old Testament prophets and all of them, you know, like David and all of them, they're all in heaven to this day. You know, Paul and Jesus, all of them are in heaven. Eternity's forever. It's not like here on earth, you know. Here on earth, the Bible says in the book of James, chapter 4, that our lives on earth are as a vapor. They appear for a moment and then they're gone. And I'll tell you this, if you reject Christ, and if you leave out here tonight and you wind up dying, it's not my fault or anybody else's fault but your own. Don't put it off any longer. Don't be like Felix, who wanted to wait for that convenient season, because you may not get that convenient season. You just never know. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. And it's so easy to get saved, so easy a caveman can understand it. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10 verse 9 that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God hath raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. It's that simple. Well, I have an invitation right now. And I invite you all, if you're lost, if you don't know Christ, this is your day come to know him. It's the best early Christmas present you can get. It's the best gift you'll ever receive in your lifetime. It's one decision you will never regret making. All of us have family and friends that are lost. They're all worth praying for. These altars are open for you to come down and pray for them. We all know people people here in our church that are sick, traveling, so much going on. Parents with children, you need to have your kids down here. Pray a prayer of blessing over them, Amen. that God will shield them with his love and protection during these dark days. Won't you stand?